Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing another pick a card. Today we're going to be doing, are you on the right path? So I know a lot of you guys obviously clicked on this because you're very confused of what path you're on. And am I on the right path? And got all these different questions. So we're going to be doing this pick a card. We have four groups. We have group number one, two, three, and four. And then I'd like you guys to choose a group. So please choose a group now, take a deep breath in and choose your group. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, so let's get started with your group. So if I don't look at directly at the camera, it's because I'm channeling and I'm kind of looking everywhere as I normally do anyway, but just for I should say. So am I on the right path? We have reconsider. We have within the next few weeks. Those are like such random <laughs> differences. They're like 50-50. We then have domestic harmony, environment, just be yourself, you're a great person, enjoy being yourself. I'm going to show you guys these cards a little bit closer anyway, as I'm going along. Let it shine, peacock spirit, turkey spirit, give with gratitude and grace. We also have judgment, that's so good, I love that. We also have, oh my god, we've got the two of cups, guys. This is amazing. I feel like every single group I do at the start, group number one, always get the love card. So I don't know if you guys are really into love or anything, but, <laughs> or if you're just looking for love. <laughs> Obviously, we're all into love, but there's just something with group number one, they always want love, which is great. I love that. <laughs> I love that. So, oh my god, I'm so cringy sometimes. I make myself cringe. So, we have reconsider and within the next few weeks. So what this is showing me is that you guys are possibly going to go on to a new path. So why you might think you're not on the right path is there may be things that have been in your way. There could have been blockages that could make, could have almost like forced you to reconsider on what you want to be, what you want to do, who you are. And I feel like this group is kind of like, I'm seeing like a pathway, but the path is like this and it's like constantly just, bleh, it's just like a mess. It's like a complete mess because it's like, there's no straight route to where you need to go because basically you are on the right path definitely for sure you are definitely on the right path it may not see it because what is happening is you're going to get your resolution within the next few weeks so what this is basically showing me showing me saying to me one of those <laughs> it's basically saying to me that you're going to get your resolution within the next few weeks okay so that's basically a timing but it can mean to something else as well so if you're wanting something specific if you're wanting love money abundance basically there is something specific that what you've been wanting is coming in the next few weeks it could be one of the things it could be all of the things but there's definitely something coming for you within the next few weeks okay <laughs> what is going to be the most important for you is for you guys to just be yourself just completely and wholly be yourself and what's going to be really, really important for you is to give a gratitude and grace and what this means is basically give of gratitude and this is making me think of thanksgiving i don't know when thanksgiving is. i think it's quite soon is it in november i can't remember but i don't celebrate it because i we don't really celebrate it in england um but i know it's very popular in america so if you are from america that is another um kind of clarification for you and with domestic harmony basically what it's showing me is that there could be an element of being grateful for where you are right now you may want to move house you may want to go on holiday that sort of thing but what it's telling me is to just be grateful for where you are in your space and i know it's annoying because sometimes you just want to move you just want to move on you just want to go somewhere different but what it's showing me is to kind of make the space your own while you're in the space of waiting because it's like waiting and conclusions and concluding basically you're putting things all together and what's really important for you is to kind of dress up your area around you so you don't feel like you are in the same place all the time or possibly get outside more um or even just go into a different room you know like go into a different room um probably maybe eat in a different room where you wouldn't normally eat your food um it's just kind of mixing it up even if it's like a little bit because it's not going to be this all this t all the time it's not going to be like this all the time basically it's just kind of making the change while you're in this space right now okay and what is letting me letting it shine is showing me is that you're going to be very r not righteous that's not the right word you're going to be very successful with where you are you're going to be like really really successful 
just as long as you follow your heart and follow what you want to do and even if you can't possibly do like a job that you really really love it's really important for you to kind of give yourself that creative like juices when you're not at work you know it's kind of making sure that you're balancing out and you are expressing yourself wholly and fully as i said before so yeah i actually didn't realize we had environment and domestic harmony that's literally what i'm feeling is that there's something to do with your home possibly some of you guys are going to be moving and that's going to be a really big sign for you so we have judgment and the two of cups this could also be you're moving in with a partner this could also mean that you're going to be partnered with someone if you are single and you're wanting love this is definitely a sign that you're going to be getting love okay um this could also mean that you are meeting with someone for the first time and it's going to be like a really good meeting whether it's a friendship work colleague um work partnership there's something where it's concluding where you are finally meeting with that person and finally starting that project so it could mean like, like a certain project in work certain project within your creative life it's like there's some sort of meeting that's coming together with yourself could be yourself as well you're coming together with yourself um and meeting yourself in the middle and you're just really really happy that you're finally getting the happiness that you want because possibly it's been possibly quite hard for you possibly possibly i can't speak with this mercury retrograde it's driving me nuts um yeah i do feel like you're coming together with yourself but it could also mean various different things because obviously this is a general reading so take it as it resonates and then we also have be yourself just be yourself you're a great person enjoy it being yourself excuse me i've got a really itchy nose <laughs> you're a great person enjoy being yourself so this is basically showing me that as i say be yourself is very 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 important um and this is going to help you to manage where you're going so if you are very confused about where you're going because you're possibly sorry guys you're possibly just thinking about other people and kind of like oh if i do this then my parents aren't going to be happy if i'm going to do this my partner's not going to be happy and it's like bitch just do what you want <laughs> do what you want it's, this is your life you're the most important person in your life do what makes you happy even if it's sitting around watching netflix do it if it and that's not even a bad thing that's a great thing if it's painting your nails if it's i don't know going on holiday if it's going out for a run doing some yoga doing just or it could be starting a massive career i don't know why i'm doing this massive career <laughs> I have a lot of luck going to take off um, <laughs> um, or possibly starting a massive career change, starting a new relationship. Do what's best for you because you're the most important person, you know, no one else. You're not thinking about anyone else. You're thinking about yourself, bitch. OK, OK, great, cool. So that is your message for uh, group number one. If this resonated, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below and subscribe. I'm also doing uh, my private readings down below and you can see if there's any sales going on. Uh, obviously this is a timeless reading but if you're watching this um, near the end of 2019 then this, uh, my yearly, sorry, my yearly readings are going to be 10% off. So if you'd like to see what's going to happen for you within the next year then you can go down there and have a look. Um, yeah and all my options are down below and you can email me or you can message me on Instagram. So thank you so much for watching guys and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Hello group number two. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see what's happening for you in terms of your pathway, where you're going, that sort of thing. Are you on the right path? Let's have a look. <laughs> so we have within the next few months. This is funny because uh, group one got within the next few weeks, I think they got. Pretty sure. Um, we also have a spiritual partnership, which is amazing. I love that so much. We then have the Hanged Man. We also have the Three of Pentacles. You see clearly now Owl Spirit. Scarab Beetle Spirit magic works through you. And Take the Lead Stag Spirit in reverse. I don't know how do reversals but that one's really like coming at me. We then have Happy Thoughts. To feel happier right now think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. Talk about your feelings. Teamwork. And we also have thankful so let's have a look at these cards so for you guys you're definitely on the right path you're very just confused and you feel like things are taking their sweet time <laughs> but you are on the right path guys you're really really on the right path um what's going to help you is to be thankful and to talk about your feelings with people and this doesn't mean to like talk about your feelings with you don't actually have to talk about feelings with other people it can be like on 
I don't know, online, it can be for a journal, it can be that sort of thing, it doesn't have to be directly to somebody else. But I feel like it's really important for you guys to feel like you can trust people. I feel like this group then, poss you possibly feel like you can't trust very easily. So for this group, I feel like it's really, really important for you to actually talk about how you feel. Because what's gonna happen is you're gonna turn these thoughts into happier thoughts and you're gonna feel much lighter. Also what's going to be good for you is to surround yourself with people who make you happy, even if it's just one person who really, really aligns with your, um, with who you are, because that's going to help you move forward as well. So I feel like for you guys, you're going to be very successful within your work career for this group. Um, also for spiritual partnership, this is actually to do with love and relationships. So you, love and relationships, sorry, can't speak love relationships and career this group is as well so for you guys you may be looking to be like okay so where am i going what's happening you are going to find the right work that suits you and you are going to be surrounded by the, the right co-workers the right people who suit you within your work life as well so you are going to be surrounded by people who are going to suit you in terms of your work life and you're going to find co-workers who are the same sort of people as you because obviously you're going to be going into the job that really suits you and I feel like it may take a little bit of time it may take longer than what you are expecting but I feel like mid 2020 is going to be very very good for you I know it's quite a long time but there's possibly just other lessons that you may need to learn and specifically to take the lead in your own life you may feel a little bit uncomfortable you may feel like things aren't working out for you because I don't know could be various amount of different reasons but basically you are going to see clearly because of your relationships that you've had because of the lessons that you've learned. You are going to see much more clearly and you're going to notice that your confidence is going to get much, much higher. For now, your confidence may be a little bit low just because you've been pushed down. You've been just you've had some really hard times, but you are going to come out as a stag spirit and you are going to take the lead and you are going to be much more confident with who you are and you are going to be that leader. There's a blackbird that's like staring at me. Maybe a blackbird is your animal spirit. Blackbirds are very tame in England. They just love to, yep, he's staring at me. This isn't a normal video, guys. Most of my videos aren't really that normal, to be fair. My head is in the shot and my face is in front of the camera. You know it's gonna be a weird reading. And with a spiritual partnership, it's gonna be definitely within the next few months. And this is just showing me that because these two cards are right next to each other, you're going to be getting, getting a spiritual partnership. You don't actually have to have um, a love partnership. This can be friendship. This can be a co uh, like a co-creative work partnership, you know, where it's like equal give and take. So it can be various amounts of things. It just depends if you're single or if you're in a relationship. Or if maybe if you're in a relationship and you're possibly thinking about um, parting ways and then you're possibly thinking about um, going with somebody new. This is a... Uh, this is saying that you are aligned and you are just go towards what feels right for you and what feels good for your intuition okay so it's also really important for you to be thankful for you to appreciate kind of what's going on and to um reap the rewards of what you've already got now and i know that's possibly quite hard for you guys to feel thankful but i think it's just really really important for you guys to do that okay um i think i think that's it guys is there anything else i need to say I see you like blooming as well. I'm getting like an oyster with a pearl and it's like uh, the oyster slowly opening up. Um, and I'm also feeling like a flower is going to be blooming for you guys. It's like coming out like this. But I really feel like you're just blooming, you're blossoming and you are on the right path. You are moving towards the right path for you and you're growing and you're expanding. There are so many birds outside. I love it. There's a blackbird on the on my bird table that's like oh, not a bird not bird table bird bath and he's drinking water and then there's a little robin so if you guys love birds this group honestly they're all out for you guys because they weren't really out for group number one <laughs> but yeah so thank you so much for watching guys if you'd like to please subscribe to my channel also if you'd like to comment down below if this resonated then please do if it didn't resonate just let it fly and if you'd like to get private reading with me all my information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon Hi. Hello group number three. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see, are you on the right path? So we have, <laughs> it's up to you. That's annoying. <laughs> I know that some of you guys are like, that's annoying. We have love. This is so good. There's love in like every single group. I love that so much. Decide. It's time to clearly make a decision about what you want. <laughs> guys, I'm sorry. There's so much like confusing energy around this group. You guys are very confused. I can feel that. 
Hawk Spirit, let Spirit be your guide. We have Dragonfly Spirit, Truth Transcends Illusion. I love how these like two are very, very blue. And we also have 22, 32 and 6. So watch out for those numbers, they're repeating. We also have the Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. So let's have a look and see what this is showing me. So it's up to you guys to choose your path. And I'm not saying that you guys are doing anything wrong. You are definitely on the right path. What they're telling me is just to just to decide what you love. So for you guys, I feel like you guys are the most kind of set back out of all the other groups. And not in terms of set in terms of like your far behind. I don't mean like that. I mean it in a sense that I feel like the other groups kind of kind of knew what they wanted ish <laughs> but like this group is completely like i have no clue i want to do something completely different for you guys i feel like you could easily do something that's completely out of your comfort zone and be very happy with it because all you want to do is just start something completely new so you I almost like don't care that it's almost out of your comfort zone like you do but you're almost like i'm so ready i don't give a shit anymore <laughs> i just want to go towards something new so that's what's happening for you guys you're very very confident i feel like this group and obviously if you're not then i thought like you're going to get there you know um and you are moving away from things that no longer serve you you're moving away from lack of confidence you're moving away from anxiety and you're moving away from a time when you felt so blocked off it was unreal so with this love card coming in it's showing me that it's really important for you to communicate how you really feel about where you want to go and this is just towards yourself it doesn't have to be towards anyone it can be it doesn't have to be i'm getting like an image of a butterfly going into like a little kind of a, a tiny little gap and it's trying to fit itself through this gap to try and get in all, almost like its little home or like a bird getting going into like a bird box where it's got like a tiny little hole and it's trying to fit itself in but once you get through that and into the bird box where it's cozy and safe that's what's basically going to happen so it may feel a little bit uncomfortable transitioning from where you are to where you need to be but when you actually get there it's going to be completely fine and you are going to get there okay so spirit is actually on your side even though you may not think it <laughs> uh spirit is on your side and they are guiding you and you may have specific spirit guides so if you do feel a spirit guide kind of coming in then that's definitely a message for you um and also as i say we have the hawk we have the hawk we have the dragonfly we have 22 we have 32 so both of these numbers are very very significant and the hawk kind of shows me somebody who's kind of s surveying the premises who's kind of like looking over to see like what kind of what's going on and i feel like you guys are kind of doing that right now so guys i have an itchy nose and it's itch in every single reading i think it's spirits i don't think it's me and basically you're kind of figuring out where do i want to go and then i'm going to land and go to where that is so that's basically what's happening right now but it's not to say you're not on the right path you're definitely on the right path it just may take a little bit longer than what you kind of wanted but it's up to you where you want to go and i know that's so annoying and that probably isn't very helpful but maybe it is for some of you. I hope it is. So we have truth Truth transcends illusion. So what this is meaning for, for this is that you are walking away from things that aren't truthful, that are gossip, that are ridiculous, that don't... I'm getting ridiculous from um, Harry Potter. <laughs> so it may seem really, really big and scary, but all it is is your own shadows that are kind of coming up to play and they're like, hey, we you need to get rid of us right now. Like now we're, now we're coming up to show you who we are. We, you need to kind of like, like clear us out now, you know? So if you feel random burst of crying, random burst of feeling exhausted, random burst of just like, fuck this, or like getting really, really angry, that is what is coming up and it's meant to come up and it's meant to be left to possibly its own devices or just to kind of let it flow you know because you are letting go of a lot of layers and that's really really good because you are transcending and you are becoming more authentic not to say you weren't authentic but your life is going to be much more authentic and it's going to be much more suitable for who you are on your own spiritual level it's not fake it's not like oh i had to do this because i had to do this like no this this path you're on right now is the most authentic path that you could possibly be on. And I think it's because a lot of the energy is, is lifting and it's shifting upwards just in general for the whole like conscious, for the collective conscious, like spirituality is really coming into play now because we are all spiritual beings. And a lot of people who are were quite um, closed off to it possibly or possibly made fun of you for it, they're the ones who are waking up now and they're gonna be the ones who are very confused. So you're gonna be the one who's like, do you know what? 
I'm gonna do my own thing and those people who you had to leave behind were not worth it in terms of like pushing down your own progress. Um, obviously they may have helped you in other ways and not to say you completely leave everyone behind um, but it's leaving people behind who no longer serve you and people who no longer feel authentic and and possibly stop you from being your authentic self as well. Um, yeah. I'm also getting like the image of leaves turning from green to orange in the autumn which they are doing now and I'm feeling that for you guys it's just an element of change and it may feel different and confusing but it doesn't mean it's anything bad okay um, and for us humans we always feel the need to figure everything out <laughs> which is the annoying part because we do and I do I'm exactly the same so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if this resonated with you, please give a big old thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe. If you would like to get a private reading with me, all my information is down below. Thank you for being here guys, I really appreciate it and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye! Hello group number four, let's get started with your reading and see am I on the right path? We have, if you believe, <laughs> these cards annoy me sometimes but I love them because they're so pretty. They're just so pretty, I can't deny it. We also have very soon. What you're asking for will happen soon in a happy way. Well, that's beautiful. I love that. I love that so much. I feel like this girl is so sassy. I don't know if you can see her, but her face. Let me, like, put it over my face. Her face is so sassy. I don't know why, but it just looks sassy to me. She's just like, well, if you believe. <laughs> um, we also have the uh, five of wands simplicity put your energy into the basics and let go of the excess we then have grasshopper spirit take a leap of faith groundhog spirit time to let go i will show you these cards more as we go along guys don't worry if you can't see them very well oh. porcupine spirit time for beginner mind that could, that could actually be upside down as well in the reverse we then have abundance Yes, I love this card because it's so pretty and pink. I love it. I love like bright pink. It's like one of my favourite colours. We then have from the tarot, we have more cards. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Fool. That's amazing. I love that. We then have the Eight of Wands. Page of Pentacles. And we also have the Empress. So what this is showing me, guys, is... I don't know why I suddenly got this, but you guys are artists. If you're watching this, you're probably an artist. I have no idea why I'm saying this, but I'm just gonna say it because it just randomly came into my... Yes, you're just very artistic, very creative, you're very watery, very sparky. Sparky, what does that mean? You just have a lot of ideas, you just don't know where to put them. <laughs> oh, I love this group. I'm really connecting with this group. This is so great, I love this. So, for you guys who are definitely on the right path, this, this group feels so homely to me. I have no idea why. Maybe it's the sort of group that I'd choose because I'm very watery and creative. So, it just feels really homely. Why does this feel really homely? Because a lot of you guys are starseeds, this group. Um, I'm definitely getting a lot of messages for you guys. You guys are starseeds. This group is just a starseed. Like, if you don't feel like you're a starseed, then that's totally fine. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're a starseed or a mystic. You're just very intuitive. You have a lot of intuitive traits. So, basically, you guys, you guys have a really easy path, okay? Because what may have been really out of reach is coming into fruition. So, if you believe that you can have it, you can definitely have it. It's definitely going to come towards you, okay? So, what's, what's the most best advice I can give you that they're showing me as well is to make your life as simple as possible. And if you think, Vicky, my life is already simple, I want it to be more fun. What is going to happen is you need to set the foundation first. Sorry, there's like birds running around all over my garden. And then, I don't know if you can hear, but there's like birds fighting as well in a bush. <laughs> um, maybe you guys are fighting with somebody, I don't know, having a row with someone. Um, what I'm feeling for you guys is set the foundation first <clears throat> and cross bridges when you come to them. Because there's like a little bridge at the back of this car. I don't know if you can see, there's like a little bridge. So what's going to be most important for you guys is to focus on the foundation first. And you may be thinking, Vicky, this is so boring. 
this is actually going to enable you to feel more stable for what's going to come because you don't want to be like oh i'm just going to float around and i know a lot of you guys who are air signs probably feel like that you're going to like float around everything's going to be fine like no <laughs> sorry guys but you need to be much more grounded when you come to this new start okay so what's going to help you is to get grounded is to um i'm getting travel maybe you guys want to travel uh travel or think about traveling um, just make plans, okay, as much as you can, as much as you want to, as much as that suits you, you know, um, and what is going to basically happen is, yeah, I feel like for some of you guys, you are fighting, because we have got the five of wands, and for some of you guys, it may be a surprise where this argument comes up, um, that's only for some of you guys, that's only a certain message, but for a lot of you guys, you're coming into a new path with yourself, you are becoming much more happier with who you are, you're becoming much more complete within yourself and you're like, bitch, I don't need anyone, but it doesn't mean you're going to not get anyone, okay? Because basically, this is showing me that for some of you guys, you want partnership and you're going to get it, okay? Because you are really embracing who you are and your confidence is rising. You could be birthing a new opportunity as well, which I definitely feel like you are because you're going from the full to the ace of, sorry, to the eight of wands to the page of pentacles, which means you guys are coming into a lot of money a lot of money okay and then we also have time for beginner mind this is in the reverse so you may be kind of confused about what you want to start or you may not want to start something new yet as i say wait and that is totally fine okay you don't have to take any action if you don't feel like you want to but if you do want to start a new start and you do know where you're going to go then it's really really good time to do that it's really good time to start that it's really good time to just suck all this new information in like a sponge okay and um, we also have take a leap of faith and time to let go. So that is exactly, I love these cards together. They make me so happy. Like they really resonate with me. Is to literally just completely and utterly let go. Because I know that's really fucking hard. <laughs> Trust me, I know it's really hard. Um, but it actually it's quite easy if you just follow who you are. Just do whatever feels right for you. If it, if it feels too stressful, then just back up a little bit. And just take it easy, you know, there's no pressure to do anything you don't want to do. Obviously, unless you literally have to do it, unless it's like work or school or college or something like that. But if there's something that you want to do that you think maybe it's not the right time yet, then don't do it. Don't do it, okay, until you think it's the right time. And there's no pressure, don't put pressure on yourself to go to be in a certain place because everything has its right timing and you are coming into abundance. You are definitely, definitely coming into abundance. Um, look out for the number 88 eight or 88 repeating, number 11 one, one repeating, 2233 five, five. Sorry, there's so many numbers coming in my head. Um, we've also got the number 30 and 31. So what's going to happen is once you take a leap of faith, you're going to be letting go. And this could mean letting go of an old relationship. Um, family. It could be family members that are being really mean to you or horrible. And you're like, Do you know what? Even though you're family, I want to let you go now. Okay, I want to be on my own. I want to have my own space. Family doesn't always mean that you have to be around them. Like, even if they're, if they're blood relatives, it doesn't mean you have to be around them, guys. If they don't resonate with you, if they don't make you happy, give yourself that time away from these people. It doesn't mean you have to completely leave them. But just even if it's just taking your own time by yourself to just cultivate your own energy, then you're not going to be distracted by other energies that are around you because otherwise your energy is going to be spread thin and you're not going to know who you are. You know, you're going to be very confused. And you also don't want to take on other people's energy as well because that means it's, it's taking you further away from who you actually are. That is a really big message for, for one of you. I don't know who it is, but somebody somebody really needs to hear that because that was a very like, ooh, like that message came in really like strong and thick. <laughs> a thick message. I don't know why i said thick but it felt really like pungent you know um <laughs> my inner scorpio is like oh <laughs> um yeah so i really love that guys and i feel like obviously for you guys some of you could actually be cultivating more of a sexual uh, relationship with, with yourself with uh, somebody else and some of you guys i feel like it's really important for you to do sound healing i have a sound bowl here and i got it from amazon if you guys are interested um but I use my sound bowl, like I, I use it quite a lot now. Um, and for you guys, maybe that's something that's important to you. Maybe that's something you need to possibly look into. You could be starting a new course of some sort. I'm getting nursing for some of you guys, or like healing. I'm getting nursing and healing for some of you guys. I love this group. I feel really warm and cozy in this group. So if you've chosen this group, nice one. <laughs> um, yeah so thank you so much guys um i feel but i feel like for you guys you are cultivating a lot of freedom which is really really good um and i feel like the more free you can feel the more the more you go into who you are and don't deny who you are you're going to be so much happier guys you're going to feel so much free but you freer you're going to feel so much freer but you are on the right path um learn something new possibly um or just 
do something new or just maybe change up what you're already doing and i feel like for some of you guys you could actually be um going on holiday to like a cottage or a house where it's very cozy um or you could be doing this in the future so you may not even realize you're going to be doing it and then you're going to realize you're probably going to do it next year or the year after and you're like wow vicky was right <laughs> hopefully that'll be nice um but yeah this looks really really good i'm just seeing a lot of cozy home homely vibes so you could be creating a family as well but whatever is happening is happening very very soon okay guys so thank you so much for watching um if you like this video don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up comment down below um i also see you guys moving house as well so if you possibly wanted to move house and i do see that for you could be moving to a flat house a freaking tp i don't know <laughs> i don't freaking know <laughs> um wherever you want to live that's where it's showing me you're going to basically be cultivating a new home for yourself which is really really cute i'm seeing some of you guys are actually going to be living in like a like a very cute like cottage but it's very like stone walls very old um it almost looks like a hobbit house which is really cute or you could be staying there for like a holiday or a visit somewhere so yeah thank you so much for watching guys um for some reason they're telling me to list countries i don't know why but it could be from where you're from or where you want to go i'm getting canada australia austria i'm getting oz like aus austria australia london governor um the uk we see a connection between canada and england very like rich i'm getting a rich country but when i say rich i don't mean money i mean rich in culture thailand some of these might not be countries as well guys so sorry about my um my geography just places they're just places okay um i'm getting like snow caps so i'm probably the alps um i'm also hearing there's like a switzerland switzerland there's another one france okay i'm gonna stop now <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to get private read with me all my information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon much love guys bye